in terms of watching what Baker Mayfield did the other night and what he is meaning to a Cleveland fan base right off the bat, what are your emotions that you you have uh, coming off of a long talent evaluation portion in which virtually every peccadillo that has been mentioned about Baker Mayfield was picked upon? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I, I felt like it was coming the whole time. Um, and so I guess it, I don't know if it validates is the right word because I think, you know, what he did here speaks for itself and, and what he did for this program speaks for itself. But I always felt like that there, you know, there was no reason that the guy couldn't be successful. I mean, I always felt like that and, and that he would be in the right situation at any level, including the NFL. So, uh, I think everybody's seeing that, you know, he can come out of an offense like this and go succeed, which is, you know, picking up steam in the NFL right now. He's not 6'4", and you know what, that's okay. Um, that, that's not a prerequisite to be a great quarterback. Um, and he's a, he's a team guy, you know, and you see how he galvanized that team. He handled being the backup well. Um, and, uh, you know, I think has given them a lot of life and energy here as a starter. So what, uh, what I guess, uh, red flag that you heard being mentioned about Baker Mayfield from January all the way through to draft day do you think is the most glaring, um, I guess, what's the word for it? I'm going to come up with the right word for it. Mo- most unfair, most glaring unfair red flag that you thought was associated with Baker Mayfield, Coach. Well, I mean, he obviously has had, you know, had a few issues off the field. I mean, we all know that. So I, I, I understand some of those red flags. Um, uh, I, I, it wasn't a concern for me here. I don't think it'll be a concern in the NFL. He's a team first guy. But I, I do get that probably, honestly, on the field, which would be his intelligence on the field and then how, how great of a thrower the guy is. And uh, I think, you know, a lot of people thought he just dinked and, dink and dunked it around here, which – which wasn't the case, and they see him making elite throws at the NFL level, and they see him, you know, going in, picking up a system quickly, and able to produce at a high level very, very early in his career. Lincoln Riley, Oklahoma head coach here on the Rich Eisen Show, and I loved your tweet after the <laughs> Thursday night football victory over the Jets for Baker I Mayfield thought you would like it. in Cleveland. Oh. <laughs> hey, bud, bet they forgive you for planting the flag now. Congrats at Baker Mayfield hashtag O U D N A. That now, how long did you have that one in the shoot, Coach? You know, and honestly, I I didn't have it at all. And we were watching the game and at home, just sitting there with my wife watching the game, and it was unfolding. And we just we one of us made a comment that it's just isn't that so funny that you know doing this here Cleveland, you know, with obviously what happened at Ohio State last year and. And it kind of came to my mind right there at the end. And I thought, well, you know, if they win this thing, this would be, you know, this would be pretty funny to tweet out, just the irony of it. And and, uh, so, yeah, it wasn't meant to throw any shade. It was just meant to have some fun with it because it is, it's actually a pretty cool story, you know, and and to go from, you know, not everybody, but to go from almost villain in that state to to hero in that state, it's in in such a short amount of time, it's pretty amazing. Well, that's why I I always thought that it would be a, a wise choice uh, by the Browns, or at least when they made it, that it would be one they wouldn't regret, despite what the an instant snap analysis of Baker being number one overall was, Coach, is that a franchise that had not won a game in as long as they had not won a game needs Baker to plant a flag in places like Heinz Field against the Steelers, needs to plant a flag like he needs to do this week against the Baltimore Ravens to let everybody know that it's different around here. I couldn't agree more. You got to have somebody that's, you know, what we're, what you're saying and what I'm saying is, you got to have somebody that's not scared of the moment and that's not scared of the challenge and that's ready to embrace it um, and believes that they could be a part and help and get it turned around. And if you need that, then he is he's your guy. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.